Hello everyone, welcome back. If you hear me uh, making a lot of weird mouth noises, it's because I'm cleaning out my teeth, because I just ate. How's that for an introduction? Well, now I know that the load times are significantly longer than I thought they were, so... Hey, Doug. Alright, let's go, everyone. Aha! One of your characters is gained the level, press start to select level up. Tributes. Now, we're a rogue. So we want dexterity up, and we want cunning up. But strength. Strength is never a bad thing to have. It increases fortitude, which measures resistance to effects like being knocked back or set aflame. But you know what we're going to do? We're going to get some constitution. Two points to constitution. You can never go wrong with health. And then we're going to go with, um,. We're gonna go with we're gonna go with cutting. Select the tree and then A to zoom. Abilities highlighted in blue can be learned. Diamond icons represent active abilities that have an instant effect. Hexagons are sustained. Oops. We go right here. All right, now, how do you switch characters again? That's right. Come on, mom. I'm not sure we could survive much more of this. Wait. Where are we going? Away from the dark spawn. Where else? And then where? We can't just wander aimlessly. Yeah, we have to stay together. Wherever we go, what's important is that we don't separate. We can go to Kirkwall. Kirkwall? Are you sure that's wise? There's a lot of Templars in Kirkwall, Mother. I know that. But we still have family there. And an estate. Ah. <sighs> then we need to get to Guaran and take ship. If we survive that long, I'll just be happy to get out of here. Don't just stand there and watch, kids. You will not have him. They will not have you. Not while I breathe. 
Get over there and help them. Mother, we need help. Stop squirming, Wesley. You'll make it worse. Apostate, keep your distance. Well, the Maker has a sense of humor. <laughs> Darkspawn and now a Templar. I thought they all abandoned Lothering. The spawn are clear in their intent, but a mage is always unknown. The order dictates. Wesley. That woman is an apostate. The order dictates. Dear, they saved us. The Maker understands. Of course. I am Aveline Valen. This is my husband, Sir Wesley. We can hate each other when we're safe from the Horde. Why are you out here, bro? It's a strange time to be hunting apostates. His fellows left with the Chantry priests. I was traveling to Denerim on business for the Order, but I had to turn south when I heard of Ostagar. Bad luck and judgment brought us together here before the attack. The nice Templar has been convinced to postpone his hunt for illegal mages. So let's not dwell upon it, shall we? Wise girl. You're quick to offer your allegiance. Another blade between us and the Darkspawn? Yes, please. So long as the Horde is their first concern. My duty is clear, but that is for another day, if we are granted that opportunity. We will be fine. We all will. For a while, it looked like we were the only ones to escape the Darkspawn. We aren't free of them yet. Just like at Ostagar, this is just the start. You were there? Yes, I see it now. Third Company, under Captain Varrell. Then you saw how the whole of the army was defeated. We fell to betrayal, not the Darkspawn. This arm of the Horde will not have the same advantage. Okay. Can he keep up? We have to go. Keep him away from my sister. He's gentle for a mage hunter. Yeah, can he keep up? How bad is that wound? I think my sword arms are lost, even with healing. Then you will have mine, as always. For now, we move with you. North is cut off. We barely escaped the main body of the Horde. Then we're trapped. The wilds are to the south. That's no way out. We have no choice. The Darkspawn have us fenced in. We go south. Come on, Mom. Mom, get over here. Tributes. To her, she's a mage, so we'll just throw up some magic on this. What well, constitution? Let's see. We want Winter's Grasp. Well, that's the only one we can have, so that's the one we'll take. Confirm. You are a. What are you now? Oh, you're a warrior. Okay, I see it up on the top left. So with warrior, we'll give you a strength point. We'll give you constitution point. We'll give you some or dexterity. And you'll take the battle axe. Aveline's a warrior. Alright, and a hawk. My name's Wesley. See if there's anything we missed over here. Nothing.
random place for a fire. How'd you guys get back here? Come on, Mom, you need to fight. here trying to get stuff. Can we come back now and let's go get some stuff over here, huh? Injury kit. Sounds useful. It looks like this isn't over yet. Whoa, whoa. an XP, huh? That's a little excessive. Health potions. Injury kit. This place is a barren wasteland. Rubble. Amulet. Alright, do we dare even jump into the codex? Premium content. Oh boy. Ah, let's do it. Herlock. Taller than their Genlock cousins, the Herlocks are roughly are roughly of human size but are possessed of considerable strength and constitution. The shock troop of Darkspawn, a single berserking herlock, can often be matched for numerous opponents at once. They are known to adorn themselves with roughly carved tattoos to keep track of their kills and deeds, so it is unknowing, unknown whether or not there is a uniform standard to these markings. <whistles> Mabari Warhound. Dogs are an essential part of Fred Lucas and their dog is more played at prize than a Mabari. The breed is as old as myth, said to have bred from the wolves who served Dane. Prized for their intelligence and loyalty, these dogs are more than mere weapons or status symbols. The hounds choose their masters and pair with them for life. Ugh. To be the master of Mabari anywhere from Ferelden is to be recognized instantly as a person of worth. The Mabari are an essential part of Ferelden military strategy. Trained hounds can easily pull knights from horseback or break lines of pikemen, and the sight of the sound of a wave of war dogs howling and snarling has been known to cause panic among even the most hardened infantry sol soldiers. Oh, good God! Well, let's at least read, uh, let's, let's read Hannah Hawk's bio here. The daughter of Malcolm Hawk and Leandra Amel. Hannah has lived in many places throughout Ferelden. Her father and younger sister Bethany were apostate mages, thus the family were constant, was constantly on the move avoiding Templar hunters. Ten years ago, the family settled in the village of Lotharine, building a home on the outskirts and making a life where they wouldn't forever be on the run. Though Leandra worried constantly that the Templars would one day catch up to them with them, Malcolm kept his abilities a secret and taught his daughter to do the same. He died three years ago, leaving Hannah responsible for the welfare of her mother and younger siblings. 
When the blight began, Hannah and Carver quickly enlisted in King Kaleen's regiment. The horde spilling from the Kakari wilds meant their home would be quickly overrun if the Darkspawn were not defeated immediately. However, the Battle of Ostagar ended with betrayal and death of King Kaelin. Hannah and Carver barely escaped into the cha barely escaped the chaos with their lives and returned in to Loitering to get their mother and Bethany out with only moments to spare. And is it worth it? Uh, I'll just do this so you guys can pause it and then read it if you ever want to. Or want to know what apostates and all that stuff was between uh, the Templars and them. Okay. Now we've escaped that dark hole, let's jump into another one. Do any of you have a bow? It appears not. Excuse me. What is this deal in spec? Four mana and stamina. Worth it. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Whoops. Main quests are milestones and Hawk's Rise to Power. Let's get out of here. You don't have to live like a refugee. Oh. Yeah, get him out of here. Got him. Look out! More on the way. Look at mom. She's just standing there like some sort of old kook, just watching us all fight. We're not really even watching us. Just sort of staring them to the hills, like she's real sad about it. There's more of them. Need to get closer. Quickly, before they regroup, we must press towards the wilds. Press towards the wilds. All right, mom. But well, look at all this free stuff. Ooh. Cool. Kakari Wild. It is said in the midst of the Black Age when werewolves stalked the lands of Ferelden in numbers that kept every farm holder indoors and a hound on every doorstep, the powerful R of Alamari Alamari people stood and declared that he would put an end to the threat. His airlane stood on the border of the dark his Arlen stood in the, on the border of the Dark Forest on the southern border of the Ferelden Valley, and he claimed that the werewolves used the, used the forest to launch their midnight assaults on humanity. For twenty years this Arles led an army of warriors and hounds deep into the forest in his hunt for the werewolves. He slew not only every wolf he came upon, but also every member of the Chessin Wilder folk. Any one of them, he said, could harbor a demon inside and thus be a werewolf in disguise. For twenty years, the forest rang with screams and the rivers ran red. The tales that an old Chasind woman found her sons all dead in the Earl's blades. She put one of those blades from one son's heart and plunged it into her own chest, cursing the Earl's name as she did so. 
Where her blood touched the ground, a mist began to rise. It spread and spread until it was everywhere in the forest. The Arl's army became lost, and it was said that they died there. Others say that the, they wander still. The ruins of his Arling stand to this day, filled with the ghosts of women who, women waiting eternally for the, their husbands to return. Oh my god, this is long! The forest of the legend, of course, is the Korkari Wilds. There are many legends about the great southern forest, and there are shadows, or so the saying goes. The Chisin wilder folk have made their home there since mankind first came to these lands, and the wild lands spread as far into the south as anyone has ventured. Beyond the mists are vast tracts of snow, white-capped mountains, and entire fields of ice. It is a land too cold for mankind to survive, yet the Chasind eke out an existence there, even there, and they tell the horrors beyond the wild that the lowland folk cannot begin to comprehend. Kind of sounds like, um... The land beyond the wall in Game of Thrones, what the hell is that called? The wild, I don't know. What is that called? Shit. The most, for, to most, Ferelden simply ends with the Kokari Wilds. There is nothing beyond. The wilds is a land of great trees, wet marshes, and dangerous monsters. What more need be said? From the land of the wild, there is by Mother Aelis, Chantry Scholar, 918 Dragon. What the hell is that? The land beyond the wall called... But that sounds exactly like that. What the hell is it called? You don't have to live like a refugee. Oh, it's him again. You soulless bastards! <laughs> ah! Sorry, boat dude. Cover! You don't do that in front of my mom. Come on, Wesley, you need to move. What are you doing? Am I even a, am I even hitting anyone? Okay, uh The Ogre's almost done for. Got him. Doesn't even look like I'm hitting them. Carver, wake up. The battle's over. We're fine. I'm sorry, mistress. Your son is gone. No. These things will not take Carver. <laughs> That's a little rough. I'm not ready for that. He did die bravely. Carver gave himself to save us. Well, I don't know about that. I don't want a hero. I want my son. How could you let him charge off like that? Your little brother. My little boy. Mother, we can't stay here. Carver wouldn't want his sacrifice to be meaningless. Allow me to commend your son's soul to the Maker, Mistress. Ashes we were, and ashes we become. Maker, give this young man a place at your side. Let us take comfort in the peace he has found in eternity. I will never forget you, Carver. But at least Father will have company now. <laughs> That's a little, a little heartless. Flames. We're too late. Flames. Looks like a fight! Ah, they're everywhere. How about you? You go through me before anyone else. I'll do with it. One 
Whoa, what happened here? There's no end to them. pretty badass. Huh. Pretty badass. You wanna be my friend lady? Well, well. What have we here? Used to be we never got visitors to the wilds, but now it seems they arrive in hordes. Well, we got a nice trick. Impressive. Where'd you learn how to turn into a dragon? Perhaps I am a dragon. If so, count yourself lucky. The smell of burning darkspawn does nothing for the appetite. If you wish to flee the Darkspawn, you should know you are heading in the wrong direction. Wait! You can't just leave us here! She can. Can I not? I spotted the most curious sight. A mighty ogre vanquished. Who could perform such a feat? But now my curiosity is sated and you are safe for the moment. Is that not enough? I want to be a dragon. We're fine. We can get to Kirkwall on our own. Kirkwall? My, but that is quite the voyage you plan. Your king will not miss you, hmm? He's dead. King Kaelin was betrayed. There's nothing for me here. I see. Hurtled into the chaos, you fight, and the world will shake before you. I don't know about all that. Is it fate or chance? I can never decide. It appears fortune smiles on us both today. I may be able to help you yet. Just like that. There must be a catch. <laughs> there is always a catch. Life is a catch. I suggest you catch it while you can. Maybe we shouldn't trust her. I don't even know what she is. I know what she is. The Witch of the Wilds. Witch of the Wilds? Some call me that. Morgan's mom? Also Flemeth. Asha ah. Bellinar. An old hag who talks too much. <laughs> Does it matter? I offer you this. I will get your group past the Horde in exchange for a simple delivery to a place not far out of your way. Would you do this for a Witch of the Wilds? What do the rest of you think? What is a Witch of the Wilds exactly? A chastened legend. Witches that steal children. Bah! As if I had nothing better to do. You're an apostate? Yes. Just like you. You would go through all that trouble to have something delivered. I have... an appointment to keep. It is far more convenient this way. Happily, you're not without your own needs. How much trouble will this delivery be, exactly? About as much trouble as my saving your lives, not five minutes ago. Got me there. Good point. 
<laughs> if you knew my daughter, you'd know how seldom I hear that. What the rest of y'all think? Should we trust her? Wesley is injured. We'll never escape the dark spawn. If you need He's turning. Leave me behind. No. I said I would drag you out if I had to, and I meant it. Could you use more fire? I can't guarantee delivery. Oh yeah, I can't. I have to reach Kirkwall first. But you will do it. There is a clan of Dalish elves near the city of Kirkwall. Deliver this amulet to their keeper, Marathari. Do as she asks with it, and any debt between us is paid in full. Before I take you anywhere, however, there is another matter. <coughs> No, leave him alone. What has been done to your man is within his blood already. You lie! She's right, Aveline. I can feel the corruption inside me. What corruption? What are you talking about? From the dark spawn. All that blood. I knew when it happened. And how much time before you? Not long now, if I am any judge. <laughs> um. Shit. I don't know. We'll let's try and help him. Must be something we can do. The only cure I know of is to become a Grey Warden. And they all died at Ostica. Not all of them. Not all. But the last are now beyond your reach. It's kind of shocking how much I remember from the first one. Considering that was a long ass time ago. Listen to me. You can't ask me this. I won't. Please. The corruption is a slow death. I can't. I'll do it for you. I'm sorry, Abby. This has to be done. That way, that lady's indebted to me. I don't know this joker. He's, he was a dick to my sister. Thank you. Without an end, there can be no peace. It gets no easier. Your struggles have only just begun. Flemeth! I thought that might interest you. You expect me to believe a myth swooped out of the wild to save the champion? Oh, come now, Seeker. Do I need to recite the tale of the Warden as well? No. Perhaps I shouldn't be surprised to hear of her involvement. I liked my version better, too. What else aren't you telling me, then? Did she send someone with the champion? In a matter of speaking. So it's true. Continue. But if you tell me they all flew to Kirkwall on a dragon... Nothing so fanciful, I assure you. The witch kept her word and got them to Guaran, where they took ship. They sailed north across the waking sea, lashed by terrible storms. Two weeks they spent in that dark hold, packed in with the fearful and the desperate. And then they saw it. Kirkwall. The City of Chains. Long ago it was part of the Imperium. Slaves coming from far and wide to work the quarries. Now, it's a free city. But I use the word loosely. 
Sail through those black cliffs and you'll see what the slaves of old saw. The gallows. Welcoming you. That's where their ship landed. With all the rest. This place sounds real pleasant. Matt. <laughs> Alright, if there's another cutscene, I'm gonna let it play out and I'm gonna end the video. If not, I'm gonna end it right now! But, who knows? I'm gonna do a video right afterwards so we won't have to deal with any loading time in the next video. You know, I probably could have stopped it and started a new one right here and no one would have noticed, but. I don't feel comfortable with that. Let's watch this cutscene. Like, man, even... Even if your whole city is built on like a slave empire, where all you do is buy and sell slaves and use slaves, I don't think what you'd want to see when you're sailing into the city is a whole bunch of like poor ass slaves on the walls. You know, that doesn't really boost morale for anyone. This is about as far as I got in, in my first playthrough. It can't be. It's true. Look at them all. They're Pereldans, just like us. Fleeing for their lives. And they would throw us all back to the wolves. Unbelievable. Yeah, let's just, uh, let's do a, let's do a group check here, see what everyone's feeling. So long as we're all safe, that's more important. We need to find Gamlin. Our family has always been highly regarded in Kirkwall. He can do something, I'm sure of it. Let's hope he received your letter. The guards seem to be reporting to that man. Perhaps we should speak to him. Ha! I remember... I stopped playing because I couldn't find the guy everyone was talking to, but I'm pretty sure I know where it is now. But, let's see if we can get into the city in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.